I want to go to one of those places and just knock the shit out a of stuff. A rage room. Can we? I've been wanting to go. <gasps> Can we break things? Yes. I want to beat the shit out of things. Let's beat the shit out of things. Let's beat the shit out of things. Hi guys, welcome to the Brutally Honest Podcast. I am here with a very special person to me. This is Treva. Hi. This is Cooper's mom. Okay, my mom. Are you excited to be here? I'm very excited to be here. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to be talking about our trip to Italy because we were in Italy at the same time. Super crazy coincidence. We'll get into it. We're going to talk about our relationship, how we met Cooper, and Treva gives me advice, you advice, her self-advice, everybody. She just knows all. So let's get started. Are you nervous? I'm, I'm nervous. nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. I know why I'm nervous. Really? Yeah. It's a, it's a little intense. I feel like, you know, the lights, the big cameras, it's a little intense. It is, but I feel good with you. You're like my daughter, I so. Know. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I feel really, <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous. Probably because he would be cracking up at us. Right I know. Now. I know. <laughs> he is cracking up at us right now. How are you? I'm good. I woke up feeling good. Same. Uh huh. <laughs> I know. I am hungover. <laughs> yeah. Not... Don't do what she did. <laughs> I know. She's. I mean, you taught me how to drink in Italy, and then I just didn't take your advice. I. I did. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good advice. It was like I didn't feel hungover at all the next day. It was like a martini and then a rosé. That's right. It was classy. That is, that's exactly what I do. Yeah, should we talk about how we ended up in Capri at the same know, time? How it was ironic. Crazy. It, I, we were, I, was at, I was in Laguna, mm -hmm. and we were just like talking casually. And then Harold brought up that you guys were going to Italy. And I was like, what? I'm going to Italy. And then he was like, where are you going? I was like, Capri. He was like, I'm going to Capri. And then it was the exact same dates, mm -hmm. 10 minutes away from each other. It was insane. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. And that was not planned at all. It was a complete coincidence. That was so weird. Mm -hmm. You got there the 7th. We got there the 8th. Yeah. And we left, I think, the same day. Yeah, the 13th. Yeah, the 13th. It was fun. I love Capri. Oh, it was so much fun. Me and Amanda literally were just running away and hanging out with you guys the whole time. I loved it. I loved it. Was it was great. Harold loved it. I know. He really so did. Fun. Amanda loves you. So we were staying at one hotel. Sab was staying at a different hotel, like way up on the hill. On yeah. the other, was at the other side of Capri. And we actually had reservations to go to Zuma, mm -hmm. the restaurant on top of the hotel. It was beautiful. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's, it's a new restaurant. Yeah. And sorry to cut you off. Super crazy coincidence. They had reservations at the hotel like to eat at the hotel that i was staying at right so we so you guys met us for a cocktail mm -hmm. and we had a photo op with the sunset how beautiful was, was beautiful. that it was amazing it was amazing and then the next day i ate with you ate dinner with you again and then the next day i ate dinner with you again <laughs> the third the third day was yeah kind of you know happenstance i suppose yeah he, it was like kind of it was quick yeah, yeah. Because we were leaving the next morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was yeah. fun. I love so Capri. Fun. And was then. That, your first time? that was my first time. Mine too. I can't wait to go back. I need like two years. <laughs> I need one, maybe. Really? Maybe. Seven the jet months. lag is insane. Oh, I don't care. Really? I cannot wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. Me. But you also went, continued your travels. That's true. So. For like another week, I was in Paris. Yeah. And we went to... Did you know to... I hurt my foot? No. <laughs> it's so bad. Honestly, I actually remember considering sending you a picture of it. And then I knew you were going to freak out. So I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, what happened? I can't wear high heels. I just like... I really am bad at walking with high heels on. So I really hurt my foot. And I remember thinking to myself, Treva would know what to do. And then I was like, she's going to freak out if she sees my foot. It was really Is it still bad? bad? Yeah, but it's not as bad. Uh, do you need to be on antibiotics or something? No, no. I might. I probably needed a boot for like a second, but I just didn't. <laughs> it was really bad. I'll show you later. Okay. It was. It was nuts. Well, we Harold got sick. Oh, I was sick too. I know. I probably got Harold sick, huh? 
Well, you, you might have been a super spreader. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely me. <laughs> no, I don't know. But Harold has a volleyball tournament. Yes. In a place. And I'm totally going to watch this up. But it's, I call it Skio, Italy. Mm-hmm. But it's, I don't know. I don't know how the Italians pronounce it. And um, we, after Capri, it was just like, I'm ready to walk into an elegant other hotel, <laughs> ready to just keep in my dream going. And we walk into this hotel, and I'm sorry to say this. I'm not going to name the name of the hotel because I loved everybody there. But I, wa- I felt like I was walking into a, can I say this, like a prison <laughs> prison room you can say that <laughs> i'm like everything is dark in here what happened to this <laughs> what happened to the capri blue and white wait where were you in a, a little industrial town in italy okay. but then harold got sick did he not was he not able to play he Shit, played I'm the so first <laughs> day and then i had a z-pack so i gave him a z my z-pack after i gave you an antibiotic then i gave him a z-pack damn I and ruined then, his tournament. <laughs> That's so devastating. I, I don't know if you ruined his tournament or my trip to Italy, <laughs> the end of it. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, no, I was really sick. Like, I, th- yeah. He, yeah. He I gets, felt like shit. Yeah. So did he. I wouldn't have been he able to He stayed in bed. People. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Okay. I've got, so I ended up going to a pharmacy mm-hmm. and they ended up giving me another Z pack. Right. So I was grateful because I thought, okay, Sab's been sick. Harold's sick. Chances are I'm going to get sick. Did you sick. get sick? Yes. Oh, f- Yeah. <laughs> so we went to, after the skio, or I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. We ended up going to uh, in uh, Istanbul. Mm. And it was for two days. Mm-hmm. We had two nights and one full day there. And the first night I'm like, okay, I'm getting sick. Oh, my So God. I took, you know, my one of my antibiotics. The next day, I'm like, okay. And Harold, we had a, a trip, uh, a private, um, what's it, a private tour mm-hmm. planned. And Harold was going to cancel. I'm like, oh no, we're not canceling. And I'm <laughs> glad we didn't. I actually felt okay. Okay. But by the time we got back to the hotel, which, by the way, pretty fabulous Four Seasons was amazing. Mm-hmm. Better I than the say. prison. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, you, you felt better. You were good to go. But no, uh, I probably want to cut all this out because it sounds so bad. No, it doesn't. But um, you're just like me. Everything I say, I'm like, oh, my God, that's awful. I'm going to get torn apart. I promise you. Then I, after the tour, which I'm so happy we went on, <clears throat> we went to the Grand Bazaar and uh, our tour guide, she was adorable. Hi, Mel, if you ever see this. <laughs> um, uh, we... Uh, she took us to the Grand Bazaar, took her, took us to some of her favorite places. There's like 4,000 little uh, boutiques in this one bazaar. Oh, gosh. It's crazy. They put you in front of 4,000 little boutiques? Yes, that and thank God I had a tour guide. Game. Thank God, because she oh, just took goodness. us to ma- maybe 7 to That's 10. That's like Disney World for you. Oh, yeah. A little boutique. And if you're not with a guide, mm-hmm. you're listen- trying to, you know, everyone's trying to sell you their goods. Yeah. So um, it was really, it was really fun. It was a really cool experience. And then she took us to a couple of museums. We saw the Blue Mosque, but we didn't go in, and because they were having a service, is that what you call it? No, anyway, yeah. You guys had but, like a whole like this was a big trip. It was a big trip. Yeah, I was ready to get home to Coda. Oh my goodness, Coda! I haven't seen Coda in so long. I know he's so cute. Every time I've gone, he's been away. Coda's our dog. <laughs> yes, we share Coda. We share. I'm him. still the grandma. I still call you the mom, and I. He does. He definitely remembers and like. Oh, he does, sure. and I have to tell you. Yesterday, I was looking at something a fan had put together a mm-hmm. video, and it was that video of when Coda was a puppy. And is it Cooper running? No, oh. it's Cooper when he's standing over in when yeah, y'all yeah. when you lived with the girls. Yeah, in the no content house. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> and um, uh, and he's standing and he's like making you know the Cooper sound and yeah, barking. It's like when he was he was like running back and forth around and the barking. Oh, I and love that video. I do too. And I and all of a sudden, I, Coda, I look over because I'm laying in bed and Coda's looking at me and 
and he and I show him the video, and he's wa- he's looking at the video. He's really funny that way. He, uh-huh. So like, he's very observant. There's a picture. I, I'll try to find it of him watching my podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have a video of him watching your podcast. And he, like, and goes and he, like, looks behind the, the TV, like, looking for me. Yeah. Oh, I miss him. I know. So when I showed him that, it freaked me out because he literally whimpered. Mm-hmm. Like, he whimpered, like, three times and looked so sad. And I was, <gasps> was, was, was I, it like, made me start crying. Yeah. It was just his sound, you know. like Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the video after this. It's really, like, it just... It really got to me. I'm like, I miss him too. Yeah. But it was like, I think, I don't know. I've well, never that, heard that, him whimper Cora like that. Is all Cooper. I've he's never heard him whimper like that. I have, yeah. He's so Every time so I would hug Cooper, he would get jealous. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> I, me and Cooper Harold, cannot touch each other no, near him. No, Harold can't, you know, hug me. or he's so yeah. jealous. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Cooper loved that dog so much. Oh, yeah. He did. Oh, he did. There was this, oh my God, like, (laughs) this is like such a crazy story. I don't know if you want to keep, I I don't know. I'm just going to say it because it was so funny. You know this. When, um, when we were, because we lived in an apartment, like me and Cooper lived in an apartment. It was pretty small for a really excited, happy, puppy, Coda. (laughs) Coda was supposed to be like 20 pounds. He's like 50 pounds. Well, he's 48. He's 48. (laughs) He went on a diet. Um, he got chunky. He did. And honestly, I blame Cooper because he just, oh my gosh, that dog would just like tilt. He like tilts his head. Cooper's like, what do you want? Anything. Anything you want. But anyway, when I was, he got too big to be in the apartment. So we were like, okay, what do we do? We can, you know, we're just like looking at options of what to, where to put, where to send him. And he's like, oh, let's send him to Laguna. I'm like, okay, like, should we, could we send him to Florida? Oh, I should not have said that. No. It, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so bad. He just looked at me. bad. Turned around, walked out. <laughs> yeah. I think he went to Shannon's. He because, went to Shannon's. Yeah, because he called me, like, yeah. so upset. Yeah. If I'm a dog, I'd rather live in Laguna. Florida gets too hot. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm I think dog. that's something that you two have to work out. Yeah. I think she didn't call me. Or somebody called me. They're like, yo, like. Cooper's on the couch crying right now about Coda. Like, what is going on? I was like, I actually, like, it really was not supposed to be this serious. I was like, I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm like, whatever. Okay, we'll Just send like, him wherever you want. If I'm a dog, I would want to come I back and live yeah. in Laguna. Oh, my gosh. So It was so He funny. lives in Laguna. He does live in Laguna. He's a he's With a the grandparents. Boy. I would, you know what? He was 100% right. If I was a dog, I would want to live in Laguna. <laughs> he was right. He was on to something. Coda's funny. He's a funny. He Coda's so he forgets. Too. Oh, and he forgets how big he is. Like he has blue. No idea. So we have another Aussie blue. I think a lot of people have seen pictures of her. Mm-hmm. She's only twelve pounds. She's this big. Yeah, that's what I thought. And Coda he, was gonna be. she rules him like. Yeah. And whatever she does, whenever she goes outside, whatever he's like right beside her. Oh my gosh! I can't believe they were like the same size at some point. <laughs> He's he's chunky, <laughs> and then he grew. He's chunky. But it, yeah, big. He's, he's big. I remember when I like hadn't seen him in a couple of weeks. It wasn't even that long, and I went over to your house and I was like, "Oh, he's fat." I was like, "Oh, he's big." How much was the most he's ever weighed? About fifty. Really? Mm-hmm. And so he's forty eight. <laughs> I know. And since we've been gone, I think he, I. He's well, it's because a little me and bigger. Cooper would like forget that like treats have calories. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forget, forget too. Because I was like in my head, I'm like, oh, I need, like let's just give him all the treats all the time. But those added up. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they added up. I give him I treats all the time. How can you not? He's so cute. <laughs> you need to visit him. I know. Anytime. Anyway, I back to what you were saying. Um, no, Simba. Simba does the same thing. Because Cooper raised Simba. Mm-hmm. Simba does the same thing. He'll like sit in front of his picture and like whimper. Really? Yeah. Videos of it. It's really freaky, actually. Yeah. It freaks me out. Yeah. yeah. It sort of freaked me out yesterday. Like, I know. I was shocked. I know. They're very intuitive. Mm-hmm. Sometimes 
Blue looks around the room and she's like following something. Like, what are you looking at? I know. What is, your, what is so going on behind me? He's playing by himself and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It's it's freaky. It is. Yeah. I just think the entire way things happened were so funny because Cooper, it was like, wow, we went zero to 100 so fast. Yes. Like, but it was we crazy. were so happy. I, okay, I was posting on TikTok, you know, just, I lived in Florida, whatever, and he made a video and he put on it. He goes, um, like, I don't know what he said, but he basically asked me on a date. Like, put I the, remember. Right? Posted it. And then I duetted it, not like thinking anything of it, really. I was just kind of like, oh, that's so cute. Ha ha, whatever. And I duetted it. And then, you know, we started to talk, like, texting. Um, and then he convinced me to go over there, like to, over here, I guess, back to LA. And I was like visiting friends, but I stayed with him. I know. And Harold picked you up from the I, airport. It's, that's crazy. <laughs> Harold picked him up for something. And Harold just told me and this story. And we thought story. it was so normal. Yeah. Yeah. I was, and Harold was like, I got to go to work. And he was like, wait, dad, I need you to go do me a favor. You've got to go pick up you know, this girl at the airport. And Harold's like, what? What? Like, I know. I would have said what, too. Like, now that I look back at it. Yeah, that's how I I met Harold. Like, he's, like, putting my luggage in the car. And I'm like, (laughs) hi, I'm Sabrina. It's so nice to meet you. And that was blonde Sabrina. Oh. I liked blonde Sabrina. Why? It was so bad. (laughs) I think I like blonde Sabrina because I have the cutest pictures of blonde Sabrina at my house. Pictures of blonde Sabrina, like the one with me curling his hair. That was really cute. Yeah, I love that picture. I do too. It's a good one. When did when did you? I don't even remember anyone that was that picture. um, November, October. I the first time I went over to Laguna to your house was when you were we were all picking out a Christmas tree. Okay. That's the first time I went over to Laguna. Okay. And then was it after that? Because you were in the photo shoot. Like yeah. Like she had done. Was I that the same back. time? No. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know either. But I, don't know. I liked Blonde Sab- Sabrina. Of course, I she, love I, this one. I like I, think I like this all the better. But <laughs> it does. But I you're mean, older I was, now. I was, yeah. I was such a baby. We were both such babies. It's mm-hmm. just crazy. Yeah. I that When I met Cooper, it, was, it moved so fast. It was crazy. I like... When I first met Parker, I'm, like, walking into her apartment with all my luggage. <laughs> I'm like, that's so crazy. I'm like, hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm staying at your apartment. Nice to meet you. Like, that's insane. But she loved you immediately. He was so cute, though. Like, he he picked me up, whatever. Harold picked me up. That's so crazy. We went over to the his, to their apartment, their old apartment, and he had made me a um, Halloween basket. Oh, I remember Do you remember that? that? There was a name, like Boo Baskets or something. Yeah. Yeah. They was that were, kind of a thing on TikTok it was like a or thing something? At the time. I think. Yeah. And he, he made me a Halloween basket. It was wow. so cute. He was so romantic, but he didn't like people like knowing that, mm-hmm. you know, because he was all. Mm, 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 mm. So when he was a baby, I think I've told you this. When, uh, literally, I would be changing his diaper saying, okay. <laughs> he was a big baby. <laughs> here's what girls like they like rings, they like diamonds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They like uh, flowers. They want you to hold the door open for them. Make sure that the girl goes first. I mean, I would literally say those things to him mm-hmm. for forever. You know, until I stopped he changing listened. his diaper. <laughs> he listened. He was so sweet and romantic. Mm-hmm. Like our one year anniversary. Was it one? Yeah, one year. Um, the Malibu trip. I'm sure you. I'm sure I you love that. that with him. He. He, it was all his idea. Oh, he, sweet. he called me and said, can you help me uh, figure out where to go? And I said, I have a perfect place, the Malibu Inn. Oh, that was so and, um, And he, he did everything else himself. Chocolate covered strawberries, mm-hmm. like yeah, he did everything. It was so cute. He did everything else himself. So adorable. I know. Yeah. I miss my baby. I know. He's a big gift giver. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> he was. Yes. He would like. I, I remember we were in New York one time. He just like would just like get me things. <laughs> and I'm like, Wait, like, I love hi. that. Like, no, no occasion. He would just like, like I have this Prada perfume that he got me. Do you remember that? No. Mm-mm. I love that. It was, I still have it. I never use it. 
because I'm like preserving it. <laughs> yeah. So the bottom line is, guys, spoil your girls. Yes. He and, so and both. Girls yeah. spoil your boys. I totally spoiled him too. Oh my yeah. gosh, that Juice World um, skateboard I got him. I know. We can't find it. It's a touchy subject. Who has it? Give it up. <laughs> if you have it, please give it up because please. I love that skateboard so much. Yeah. He Someone has so that much. skateboard. Why did it? What was the occasion? It was his birthday. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't his birthday. Christmas. Because we had like just met. <laughs> what is like? That was I'm a huge you, thing. So fast. It was his. I think it was. He had been sober for a month. So I got him that. Okay. Yeah, that was it. I. That skateboard haunts me. And I don't know why. It's it, ridiculous. Parker keeps telling me, just let it, it go, mom. But I can't I'm let just, it go either. I can't. Where is it? Someone's got it hanging in their room. I know. That's so upsetting. It's very upsetting. Mm -hmm. There's a reward for it. <laughs> there is. Contact Anything Alana or Shannon. <laughs> or me. Actually, no. Probably not me. Or me. <laughs> I, I want that skateboard. Yeah. Go through Alana or Shannon. I also can't To get find to it me online. for the reward. <laughs> I've like tried to find it and like buy it. Cannot find it all night. I think you got it made. I think, I I think you've told too. me that before. It was like a custom Juice World skateboard. It was so good. Oh, that was such a good gift. Such a good gift. <laughs> you know, I had no idea that Parker was hard to impress. Oh my god. But gosh. I remember like a week later, Cooper was like, wow, my sister likes you. And I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> I was like, you promise? You're like, wait, was that an issue? Yeah, I was like, was she not supposed to like me? What do you mean? But to be fair, I did just kind of show up and start living in her apartment. Oh, I and, love And that. after that, me and Cooper lived together. Like when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it. Wherever you lived, he, he was there. Yeah, he was there. And, and when they like, when he lived in Sherman Oaks. He always had his own place to go back to. Right. But he never went back to it. No. So at some point, like when we were in Sherman Oaks, um, and he was living at, at Greenleaf and not living there. Like yeah. it was like, why was he at some point I was like, Why are you paying rent? You don't live there. <laughs> Just come move in. And that's where and then we Somewhere moved. in between that time of him leaving Sherman Oaks and moving in with you in mm -hmm. Sherman Oaks. <laughs> mm -hmm. In Sherman Oaks, right. That's where the skateboard went missing. <laughs> it is, huh? Yeah. At Greenleaf? Damn it. Well, that house was like a black hole. And then he'd bring his laundry to my house, which I loved. Oh, my gosh. I know. He, it was so funny. It was so funny. Because I, I really don't understand why we did that. Because we had a laundry machine. <laughs> We have hands capable of using them. We knew how to do laundry, but I don't know. I think it was just an excuse to go over there. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, oh, I have to drive two hours to Laguna to do my laundry. I'm like, oh, my gosh, um, me too. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> I'm go. bringing mine too. <laughs> I know. It was, I. oh, my God, you're so funny. I can't believe you weren't like, go do your own laundry. To him. <laughs> Never. Never. Parker would just like. It's so funny. Roll her eyes. Literally, <laughs> they would come home. Parker, all, we always tease Parker because it was like, Parker would come home. Mom, can I do this? Will you do this for me? You know, can you make me food? No. <laughs> Cooper, come home. I've Mom, can you make me this. food? What do you want? What do you want? Like coming right up. Yeah. I did the same thing. Shannon did the same thing. He was so, <laughs> gosh, he had us wrapped around his finger. Wrapped around his finger. Mm -hmm. He was good. He was really good. Anything was he good. wanted. I know. Whenever he really wanted fun. it. Does it feel good to talk about him? Yeah. I think I I talk about him more in like a, like even Italy, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like as heavy because we talk about like memories and it's yeah. very light and like, it's nice. It's yeah, nice. I agree. I, I know. I was very proud of you in, in Italy. Really? You're very open about it. Yeah. It felt I'm nice. Very open about it. Yeah. And I, it, it helps us all heal. Right. And it does. It's it's nice to talk about him because I think I didn't for a year. Mm -hmm. There's some beautiful memories. Yeah. And they're to be shared for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm just so happy that he brought you in our life. Me too. In a very funny way. And I love <laughs> your parents and for letting us love you oh, and my, be in my our life. I'm so grateful for you guys. Mm -hmm. Cause I I was over here. I moved over here when I was eighteen by myself. I didn't know anybody. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy <laughs> across the country. Just but I love Cooper. it that they trusted you enough mm -hmm. to do that. Right. 
But you're you're a smart girl. I think you, you should have gone to college. <laughs> I went to college for like a second. <laughs> so did Cooper for one oh my semester. Gosh, this is such a funny story. Yeah. This is so okay. I'm putting Does him Shannon on. Know I'm this? airing his shit out. I am airing his shit out real quick. It was actually crazy. <laughs> I'm like I'm living with him at this point. We'd probably been dating for like six months. Um, we're living together. I spend every second of every day with like ev- we are attached to the hip. And then out of nowhere, he looks at me, he goes, I think I'm gonna tell my parents I'm I'm not I'm gonna drop out of college. I go, You're in college? <laughs> I was like, What are you talking That's about? Hilarious. I, like, I have never seen you open a book. What do you mean you're in college? He was like, Yeah, I'm in I'm in college. This is my second semester. I was like, What are you talking about? He was paying someone to yeah, do yeah. school for him. Yeah, he told us. Like, we were at a, yeah. Are you kidding me? I had no idea he was in school. Oh, it yeah. was like this huge thing, too. He was like so nervous to tell you guys. I was oh. like, you weren't even in school. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. We, Nobody knew he was in college. Uh, yeah. None no of one us. had to know. No one knew. That's None funny. I love how he knew. sprung that on you. It was I think so I'm going to tell funny. my parents I'm quitting college. I was like, Quitting what? What do you mean? Like, so what college do you go to? It was, I had so many questions. I'm like, what are you majoring in? Like, what do you mean you're in college? Oh, no. So we Nobody we had that. a therapy appointment, a, a family session. And he was so nervous to tell us that he was quitting college, school. Was and I was like, me. we're like, okay. <laughs> and then he comes clean. Well, you know, I've been paying <laughs> or you've been paying. You've been paying. <laughs> you've been paying so and so. I won't mention his name, but you know, to do all my work. Insane. Acing everything. He's I'm like, so smart, Good job. actually. He's so smart for that. Yeah. No clue. It was nobody knew he was in college. Yeah. None of us. None of his friends. We were like, wait, <laughs> what do you mean? So funny. So sneaky. Wow. It that was is so, so funny. funny. It was so funny. I didn't funny. know how I didn't know he did I that. I had been dating and living with him for six months. Had no idea he was in school. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> no clue. And all the time I was just thinking, how's he doing this? And he I would talk. It. <laughs> oh no. And I would talk to this person, like, how's he doing? You know, I, I you know, is, is he keeping up with his work? I know, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, he's keeping up with it. Like, yeah. Oh, my God, that is so funny. He was so smart for that. Mm-hmm. He's like, how do I tell my parents I'm not going to college? <laughs> what? I was like, what do you mean? I haven't even seen a book. <laughs> Literally, I was like, why do you even, like, I was like have you ever, have you done homework? Like, what do you mean you're in college? That's hilarious. He, if you would have told me, I probably would have done it for him. <laughs> you are so funny. Do you wish you'd gone? Mm, sometimes. Yeah. I think sometimes I wish I, I had experienced things and mm-hmm. like I feel like I missed out a little bit. But also I'm extremely blessed to have oh, yeah. this job. So it's like a – And you're yeah. kind of working with a really cool person, manager. Oh, I know. We're not going to talk about her. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about her all the time. This is I like know. A I do too. She's the best. She's my manager too. She's really, she's really the type of person where it's like, she's jumping off the cliff. You're following her. You know? I know. Yeah, I would follow that woman into battle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would. She's Trust gonna love me. this. Oh, yes, she's she love is. It. Oh, she. Oh my gosh, is. that was funny too. We have matching tattoos. That was the <laughs> that best. Was hilarious. Wasn't that the first time I met her? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> so basically, um, the day after Cooper passed away, I. I, for some reason, my head just went like straight. I was just, I need a tattoo. Like, I don't know why. That was like my, like my coping mechanism was immediately just like, I need a tattoo. So, you know, Alana being Alana, she, she was like, okay, like, let's get it done. She sets up the appointment, whatever. We end up at the tattoo shop and I was getting the butterflies, which was nice because I got them from the same guy that did um his butterflies. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Same, same guy. Anyway, um... We're all doing it, and Alana's like, I want to get something as well. Um, I don't know what to get. Should I get the butterflies? I was so delirious, like, at that point. I honestly was just like, mm-hmm, like, yeah, what, like, whatever. Like, I didn't, right. I wasn't thinking about it. So then she gets the butterflies, and now we all have matching tattoos. She had no idea that this was, like, a family, like, sentimental tattoo. <laughs> she had no clue that, like, I have this tattoo 
Treva has this tattoo, Cooper has this tattoo, Parker, like it was, it's like a family tattoo. <laughs> She's never met Treva before. And then we all go over to Laguna and what did she do? We're sitting around the da- the table uh-huh. and we're talking about, sh- you're showing us the tattoos. Yeah. And Alana realizes that, oh. Oh shit, this is a family tattoo. Yeah, because I've got mine, <laughs> mm-hmm. you've got yours, but the hand thing. Remember, his was on his right. It was on his right, right hand. Yeah, and then we were yeah, laughing about <laughs> we were <laughs> laughing about the the. I put it on my left, but honestly, I like it there. Yeah, I think it's I think it's nice that it's on my left hand. Yeah, I have it a looks seal good. On my ring finger. He would love that. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, he yeah. is eating it up. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, he would actually probably make fun of me for like. I don't even want to know how much, like, he, I have matching tattoos with him. Do you have any idea how many times he told me I, he would never get a matching tattoo with me? <laughs> He's like, that's a curse. We can't do that. <laughs> He's like, bad luck. I'm like, okay, fine. We won't do it. I was, I was down. I have, I have, <laughs> I, was down. A ma- I have some matching tattoos with him too. We have this one. We and have then this. I have, wait. Do we have, you and I have. We have matching doves. Yeah. Our little doves. Doves. This one. Mm-hmm. Um, I have like 10 tattoos for him. It's actually insane. He would make fun of me. So I've got Parker, her um, signature on the back of my neck and Cooper's. And so my next one's going to be Sab's. I know. I'm so honored. I am so honored. That makes me like blush. <laughs> I'm so honored. Wait, that's We so figured exciting. that out when we were in Capri. Yeah. That's so exciting. I will do it yeah. after this. Please. So you have to write your signature, and then I'll take it to my guy. Oh, my gosh. That's really exciting. I think that's all I've got, actually. Oh, I have Righteous for him. Mm-hmm. I like that. The Love Cooper. Mm-hmm. That was from my card. Mm-hmm. I have that from the same card. You're so strong. Mm-hmm. One of my that's favorite. good handwriting. One of my favorite. Yeah. Right? For not going to college. <laughs> for not going to college. For going to college. For, for going to college. For six months. <laughs> I was thinking about um, the other day, because I don't know why this came to mind while we were in Italy. Italy was strange. It was strange. I, we were, it was so, like, he was so present in Italy. I know. It was insane. What about the boat? Oh, my God. This man sends me so many signs. It's crazy. Like, it's insane. He sends me so many signs. I wonder if he's going to send you signs until you meet I don't know. someone that he feels is going to be. Right. I don't know. He really does, though. Like, there's so many things I could say. He he freaks me out sometimes. <laughs> he, he basically, I was in Morocco with Emma, and I was, I bought this disposable camera, one of those little, like, Fuji, like, disposables, and I opened it up on this trip. I've ne- I, It was closed before this trip. And... I open it up, I use up the whole film, I'm like taking pictures the whole time, I get back, and I, it's, oh my god, it was insane. I get it developed, and then, right, yeah, I got it developed, I'm looking through the pictures, it's just pictures of me and Emma in Africa, and right in the middle of it, there's a picture of Cooper. That was random. Right in the middle of it, between two pictures of me and Emma in Morocco. Not because a Emma picture, was- none of us had ever seen this picture before, no one had ever seen the shirt he was wearing before. It was so weird. It really it is insane. still insane. It's yeah. like it was the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. It was so. It's like what? Emma's picture was like yeah. Was it twelve? He was thirteen. You were fourteen. Yeah. Like it was like how? just right in the middle. And it's literally impossible. And he's, and he's laying like, on a sofa. Yeah. Or he's on. He's he's laying on pink silk bed sheets, mm-hmm. which I have in my apartment right now. Which is crazy. Those are the bed sheets I have right now. It's so weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was crazy. That was insane. And then I was in Italy and I was talking about Cooper. And for some reason, I like Italy, I, I just was talking about him a lot. And I was talking about Cooper. I'm in Italy. I'm in the middle of the ocean. And um, I'm talking about him to Amanda and then this big boat just passes by us called the cooper <laughs> i was like are you kidding me <laughs> this is crazy. 
crazy. There mm-hmm. was more. Something else happened in Italy. Harold felt um, his presence a lot there yeah. too. I I I don't know. I I think when I am traveling, I try to not think so much mm-hmm. because I might fall apart. Yeah. So to hear you had that experience and then Harold, and then we were watching the sunset was probably a moment that I felt like yeah. h- him close. Right. And, but yeah, Harold felt him really a lot too during that trip. I mean, it was, it was really, honestly, it was like intense. I, I don't, I don't know what it was, but I think maybe for me, I, it was like hard for me. I, I was having a hard time mm-hmm. in Italy. I was having a really hard time because it was a fun trip, but I was having a hard time with Cooper. Um, I think specifically for me, like experiencing new things and like beautiful things mm-hmm. that he didn't get to do, it like is really hard for me. And I was having a really hard time in Italy. Why am I crying? What the I f- think sorry. he wanted Holy to. Shit. That came That's out of okay nowhere. because he. I actually cried sorry. before. Whoa. No, I was actually crying before I got to Shannon's. Like I was like. Damn, that was fast. <laughs> because you know, I think like, I think that he. Wanted to travel more. I know. I, more. I had a hard time in Paris. But you know what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, no. he, he was is. really excited to yeah. go to Europe, and it just sucks. Mm-hmm. I, I was having a really hard time in Italy. Like everything I did, I I don't know. It just not even. Obviously, I know that I'm, like. I I it almost feels I felt guilty almost for like mm-hmm. do I I know I know but doing things and experiencing things like w- like that he didn't get to do like it just sucks and it makes me not really be able to oh, f- I don't know how to put this you know what I mean it it's just hard to enjoy it as much because it would be more enjoyable with him I know but, you know I text him all the time yeah me too and I was texting him saying <laughs> God, I wish he would have had a voicemail. Like a, like a, you know. I still leave voicemails too. Yeah. But I was saying, you know, when I was texting him, like, I just want to walk. I want to land back in at home. Text you, Parker, that we landed. And I just want to wake up from this dream, mm-hmm. from a nightmare that I have to live with. Yeah. And... It's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. Because, yeah, I want to share things. And and I still do. I still share things. Yeah, I think um, I think Parker has a good way of, like, th- thinking about it. You know, like, living <laughs> for two. Like, I, yeah, I agree. Like, I, I think that's something I need to work on. Because for me, it's more, um, I don't, like, see it that way yet. Mm-hmm. And it's more for, I don't know. I just... Well, you know, and we've said this a lot to Sabrina, we want everyone to know that when you meet someone, we're excited, but we know it's going to be a really good person because I know that your standards standards are set high mm-hmm. and they should be. You're worth it. I just have such a hard time with that. I don't know. It's just, it's hard for me to, like, see that and you would be like, oh, my God, I'm so excited to, like, meet somebody because it's just not fair. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, the time's not right either. It's I not. think that when you 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 give yourself a little bit more time and when the time is right, it'll be right. You're still young. Have yeah, fun. I know. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Don't be guilt. Don't feel guilty about anything. Because when you have a grandbaby, we know what the name's going to be. Oh, I know. That's also insane. Can we talk about that? We can talk about that. I'm writing a book, and it started off as kind of a book about my life, and then I kind of just, the more I wrote, I was like, I it's really about me and Cooper. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it really is. The more I wrote, because I think that's, he's, he's honestly just so important. He's, like, the most important thing in my life, like, the thing that, like, kind of like paved the pathway for my life you know so that entire book really is centered around cooper and it's for cooper 
it's kind of my way of like you know um anyway sorry I don't healing know. yeah it is healing. Healing. It's healing absolutely and it's my way i don't know i th- i think i'm like honoring him a little bit mm-hmm. but um regardless i'm writing this book obviously i changed all the names because i don't want to get sued <laughs> and because i don't know it can't be that personal so i changed all of the names and i named cooper charlie because i don't know i just i i had for so it was the first name i thought of and it, i immediately thought charlie um because me and cooper watched charlie st cloud together one time and oh my goodness <laughs> waterworks so <laughs> Oh. Uh, waterworks you should have seen him watch um the avengers <laughs> for some reason what about how i met your mother oh <laughs> my god i should not have introduced him to that show that was intense <laughs> he was he he loved that show i know i'm still trying to get through it i'm s- season one down okay go ahead anyway Sorry. i named him i named him charlie and um i didn't tell like i really I hadn't told anybody this. Like, this isn't public information. This is the first time I'm saying this. So one one thing that happened that was crazy is a fan gave Jaden a letter. And in the letter, it said, if a writer loves you, you will never, you can never die. That's what it said. If a writer loves you, you can never die. And then it was signed off as Charlie, which is crazy mm-hmm. because nobody knew that. That's crazy. Do you want to tell your story? Like your reason that charlie is special to you sure because i didn't know that when I no and i forgot about and i told shannon i said you're and it was really weird i can't remember why i remember that but i was sitting at uh the dining room table and it was just me and Mm -hmm. my girlfriend tara and um and i had lost a baby between parker and cooper and i just finished watching a movie called Heaven is for real. Mm-hmm. And in part of that movie, there is a a couple loses their baby. And and their son gets sick in it and he doesn't die, but he goes to heaven. He mm-hmm. he experiences this heaven. You know, uh, he experiences not this heaven, but he experiences heaven. And um he meets his sister, but she doesn't have a name mm-hmm. because she his parents didn't name her right and they didn't even know it was a her so when he was better he asked the mom about his sister so and she the movies i love the movie yeah i need to watch it and um anyway so i was telling tara about the movie and i said i think i need to name my baby Mm -hmm. and i don't know if it's a boy or a girl so i'm gonna name the baby charlie Mm-hmm. And that was at least four months before. It before. might have been, might have been. I don't know who said Charlie. It might have been Tara. It might have been. Me. I don't remember. But the but the name Charlie came up, but, and we were like, yes, for a boy or girl. That's so crazy. Yeah. And I then didn't know the that and then no no Charlie. no and then the things happen and then your book and the book that was given to Jaden at the mm-hmm. concert. Right? Yeah. See, he sends little signs all the time. Okay. This story is crazy as well. Jaden was doing meet and greet and then he um, uh, he goes, this guy comes up to him and he goes, oh my God, I like your shoes. And he goes, yeah, they're Cooper's because Cooper had been selling shoes. And Jaden took those shoes back. He was like, I'll give you a pair of mine if you give me those. And the back of them were all scuffed, skateboarded on. They were Cooper's shoes. I just think that's insane. That is such Mm -hmm. a crazy, crazy story. Mm -hmm. I love that story. And guess where the shoes are? I have them. What shoes were they? They were the blue ones, the blue Uh and white ones. Thank you, Jaden. I love them so much. They mean so much Mm -hmm. because I don't know if you know this story. I'm sure you do. And, um, you know, when we were cleaning his room Mm -hmm. and getting rid of stuff and we had those big black bags parker accidentally gave a oh, lot of his shoes to goodwill so whoever has a lot of cooper shoes and found some amazing jordans and yeah he had some good shoes. oh he had some good ones mm-hmm. um and you've got some beautiful shoes you're walking in mm-hmm. so um but that was 
So to get those blue and white shoes was yeah. so important. And the, the weird thing is, I when I That's after I got them, I went and I, and I looked in, and there was like sand, like there from the sand in yeah, like sand, like you know, what? from the beach. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, did this person live by the beach, or you know, because Cooper, of course, grew up by the beach, so yeah. That's insane. Yeah. The shoes is crazy. The, the shoes, book the book. is crazy. It's, mm -hmm. it's all really wild. I think that, I don't know what, I think, I think the reason I am so set on releasing my book is because of all of these little things, you know? I love that so much. There is just something that he is trying to get me to do, and I can tell. So you wrote a book, and I am not like you, but I, I'm... I've been writing almost yeah. every day, but mine's not like a book. Mm -hmm. What would you say mine is, Shannon? More, more just like a, a journal? Yeah. Like a That's angry, <laughs> a very angry journal. Yeah. That's about, how mine started. Yeah. You know, so. I was just writing down my feelings and then yeah. one day, literally one day later, I was like, oh, f this is actually like really long. <laughs> yeah. And so good. I can't wait. I don't know. If people know this, but Jaden's mom's a ghostwriter. Can mm -hmm. I say that? Okay. So she's a ghostwriter. And we've been talking about before Cooper passed, I wanted to write a book about this. his journey. Remember, I mm -hmm. stopped y'all, y'all were leaving. I'm like, Cooper, can I write? Uh, you will do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, do whatever you want. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, okay. But uh, uh, we were going to write a book about his journey through, through the wilderness. And then. Um, and then the aftercare and stuff. And, um, and I asked him if he wanted to do a chapter and he's like, sure, I'll think about it, whatever, you know? Yeah. Whatever. And, um, anyway, so now since then, of course, that's not, I don't even really think about that book yet. And maybe someday, I don't know, but now I'm writing more of a, a journal my steps for grieving as a yeah. grieving mom and um, the anger and all the steps. And, you know, sometimes I find hope mm -hmm. in writing and then uh, then I go back to being angry. I think it's like, it's very healing for sure. It is very healing. It's very healing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like, a lot of feelings to be told. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of us out there. There's a lot of moms, a lot of dads hurting. I know. And I was talking to Theo uh, on the way here uh, that from End Overdose. Oh, God. And we were talking about statistics and stuff. And I was asking him about how many people are passing away every day from fentanyl, poison, murder. Um, it's about 150. A day? A day. That's insane. That means there's 150 more hearts broken. Mm -hmm. I mean, mom's hearts broken. And that's not including the dads, the sisters, the brothers, the grandparents. I mean, it goes on, the friends. And it's just very heartbreaking. And I wish that we could do something about it. And if I could, I mean, if I could save one child by just saying, if you're doing drugs, try to stop. Mm -hmm. I know it's so tempting. I was young once. Mm -hmm. It's so tempting to do drugs, but at at the rate that people are dying, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is that what you want? We really want kids. And it's not just kids. It's 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 young, older, 45, 50, and you know, people are losing their lives. But also in, I think he was saying that in L.A. County, from 11 years old to 17, that rate of fentanyl poisoning is growing. 11 years old to 17. That's so, really, really upsetting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we just have to figure out how to stop it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just want to pull on all these kids' heartstrings and just. I know. What do you do? Um, so, do you have any advice for me or them? 
for yourself? Yeah, I do. Um, if I can just make one amazing suggestion for everyone is to be a donor. Cooper was a donor. And go on organdonor.gov if you feel like it. Statistics are there. I think there's 107,000 people needing um, transplants. And there's like 17 people a day that die because they don't get them. There's so many beautiful things about being a donor. And it's a scary thought. It is kind of scary thought. Yeah. But it, I am so impressed that Cooper thought about doing that. When we were getting his driver's license, yeah. it's like he checked that box, like, and I love that. And we already have had one donor mm -hmm. letter, which was pretty beautiful. And it was a young girl, I, I think. It was, yeah. And um, it was something he, the, the, they were able to use his tissue for her knee. And so she could be an athlete. And what a beautiful gift. Shit, <laughs> sorry. No, it's a beautiful thing. And being a donor is, if I can just advise, just think about it. Is there <laughs> any advice you can give me? I don't know. I think, um, I don't know. I think you should have some peace of mind knowing that, like, he really, I had, you know, I had so many conversations with him. I was, oh, I, we were attached at the hip. And he verbatim to me, like, has said to me word by word that he would never, ever want you to bury him. And he really, really, really believed that. And he never wanted this. Yeah. It was his biggest fear. Yeah. Because he knew it would... <laughs> no, I know. I mean, your feelings were the most important thing in the world to him. I don't know. He always said, Sabrina reminds me so much of you. I know. You both make me so bad. <laughs> I know. I'm like, it's a good thing. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I know. He always said that. <laughs> yeah, he loved you so much. You know, I know. I always like to say something about Cooper's fans, which I love so much. And... um I know everybody thinks I'm crazy because I really DM pretty much everyone and I don't even know how I've done it, <laughs> but I want everyone to know how much I love them and they help me every day. And um, there's going to come a time when I probably won't want to post videos and stuff, but for now I still love it and I'll always let everybody know where I am and where I stand on it and I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful for all the love and support and uh, all the videos. Like I know. I've never been so happy that this is my job. I know. And sometimes I worry about you. Like, should I send this to Sal? Oh, I see everything. I Even know. Even if you don't send it to me, I'll, I'll see it. I know. This. I know. But it's I like to post bad, some of them uh, with you. I try not to post. Yeah, I get a million of you. I get yeah. a million of Jaden. I get a million of Nessa. I'd like to get some more with Anthony and Quentin and mm -hmm. oh, you know, them. and Jordan and Sin others, Chase. Yeah, yeah. Mix it up, guys. Mix it up because <laughs> I loved. He loved everybody. Everyone. Everybody. Landon. Everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Send me more videos, everybody, because I think Jaden's getting tired of me. <laughs> Sab's getting tired of me. I'm not getting now, tired. So I'm trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, there, there's a lot of videos. Like sometimes I'll, I see stuff and I'm like, I don't, I don't even remember taking this. Oh, you know I know. What's good? Pinterest is good. Oh my gosh, Pinterest, Pinterest is, is crazy. There's a lot on there that there's mm -hmm. like hidden gems. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hidden things. Yeah, but I've never once in all the thousands of videos and pictures I've come across have I ever seen the one that was planted. That one photo. That one photo. It Where the hell did it come from? Insane. It was insane. He just like pops in. He'll be like, hey, Sabrina, still here? I'm like, okay, <laughs> got you. <laughs> got you. <laughs> I'm getting the message. But I think he does it at very, very strategic times as well. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And you were the love of his life. I know. And I'm so, I'm so grateful he had you. 
What a beautiful gift that he had with you. And it's just so special. I say it all the time. I've never, I mean, you're, you're lucky. Mm-hmm. But you're going to find someone. Someone's going to find you. But he's going to make sure it's the <laughs> right one. <laughs> I know he will. So. I know he will. But I love talking about him. Thank you. Of course. I try, I worry that, you know, people don't want to hear it so much anymore. I will So I try to. It. You know, I will talk always, always want to hear. I love talking about him. I think I know. I, I was so I impressed I was with Capri. I was yeah, like, I was repressing it. I know. And Harold's like, don't talk about Cooper. I'm like, okay. Oh and my then gosh, you talk about him. I'm like, him okay, like, she's yeah. talking about him. I'm talking about him. And then I think after I got out of the mental hospital, I was like, okay, cool. I got this. Yeah. I hated that time. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, what I hated is that I was away right but you know and i want the world to know i would have come back for you in a second i know shannon alana was, nobody would let me there was really i was no on need. a mission trip i was i was away you wouldn't have been able to see me anyway <laughs> sorry that was a hard I always time. laugh when i talk about it but it's just like that really was a hard weird. time like i know i'm trying to install stoves in a village <sighs> and all i keep thinking about is sabrina <laughs> But I mean, honestly, I needed it, and it was okay. Maybe I didn't need that, but it was a good it was a good wake up call for me to be mm-hmm. less in denial. And I love it that your parents are so involved with I you, know. and your mom is here all the time. I love that. You yeah, need I to bring her was... to Laguna. I, I want to see your dad again too. Yeah. Wow. I cried. I cried, cried. <laughs> I cried a little. I cried, cried. Damn. I've cried so much. I've been like, yeah. I've cried. I know. Me too. I've cried like screaming. I know. Me you know what I want to do? <laughs> what? I want. To go to one of those places and just knock the shit out a of stuff. A rage room. Can we? I've been wanting to go. <gasps> I actually just feel like I just said this. I want to go to a rage room. I want to go. Let's go. Okay. It's so fun. Can we break things? Yes. I want to beat the shit out of things. Let's beat the shit out of things. Let's beat the shit out of things. I, there's like, you can literally get like a, a beaten up car and beat the shit out of it. I don't care. It. Let's just Let's find something and do it. Let's do it. I think it will help me. It will totally because help you. Because sometimes when people are not nice, I, I just visualize them and I just want to hit them in the face. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, center. Yeah. That's what I need to do. I need a rage room, a rage car. A rage I don't room. care what it is. I know. Maybe we get Parker. Oh, Parker would. I'm scared to see Parker in a rage room. Whew. Honestly, I'd, I would have to like leave the room and just let her go at it. That'll I think we do it in sessions. I mean, in sections <laughs> like the three of us or the two of you. Why have we Shannon. not done that? Why have we not done that? That seems like something we should have done a long okay, time ago. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, tell me where. I'll I'm figure booking. it out. I got it. Okay. And then we need to go to a sound bath <laughs> to calm down. <laughs> I need to do the sound bath that you were telling me about. I love it. Guys, that's it for today's episode. Did you have fun? I loved it. Really? It's the most comfortable I've been. Really? Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. That leaves me happy. Thank you for having me. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you. Cooper may be in heaven, but I gained a daughter. You did. Mm -hmm. He blessed me. He blessed us. Mm -hmm. A lot of us. The yeah. family. Mm-hmm. It, it is a little family. Mm-hmm. It's a little um, unhinged at times, but we're all still. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Do you want to say your Instagram and all of the things? Well, all the things are trevawellsnoriega.com. <laughs> Yay! I'm like, That's I'm it. used to more. I'm like, you know, I'm That's like. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Um, you can, Do I need more? Maybe. I'll talk to my I'll talk to my manager. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm used to more. I was like waiting. Was like, okay. 
Um, you guys can follow me at Sab Casada on everything and Sabrina Casada on YouTube. And you can watch this podcast on Past Your Bedtime's YouTube channel, video format, and stream it on all audio streaming platforms. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. And thank you for being here. We're going to go get food now and break shit, possibly. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.